creator in history. This video introduced Abdul Qadir Khan, father of nuclear power and Pakistan's visionary scientist. Abdul Qadir Khan, born on April 1, 1936 in Bhopal, India, now in Pakistan, is a Pakistani nuclear scientist and metallurgical engineer who is often referred to as the father of Pakistan's nuclear bomb. He played a pivotal role in Pakistan's nuclear weapons program and is a controversial figure due to his involvement in nuclear proliferation activities. Early Life and Education Abdul Qadir Khan moved to Pakistan after the partition in 1947. He obtained his bachelor's degree in metallurgical engineering from the University of Karachi in 1960. He then went on to pursue higher studies abroad and earned a master's degree in engineering from Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands and a PhD in metallurgical engineering from the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium. Contribution to Pakistan's nuclear program Khan's most significant contribution came when he returned to Pakistan in 1975 and began working on the country's nuclear program under the leadership of then-prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. He played a crucial role in establishing Pakistan's uranium enrichment program, which ultimately led to the development of nuclear weapons. Under Khan's leadership, Pakistan developed centrifuge technology for uranium enrichment. This technology was crucial for producing highly enriched uranium, a key component of nuclear weapons. Pakistan conducted its first successful nuclear tests on May 28, 1998, in response to India's nuclear tests, marking Pakistan's emergence as a nuclear-armed nation. Controversy and Proliferation Activities Abdul Qadir Khan's legacy is also marred by his involvement in nuclear proliferation activities. It was revealed in the early 2000s that Khan had been involved in transferring nuclear technology and know-how to other countries, including North Korea, Iran, and Libya. These actions violated international non-proliferation norms and led to sanctions against Pakistan. In 2004, Khan confessed to his involvement in these proliferation activities, but he later retracted his statement, claiming that he had been forced to confess. Regardless, his actions significantly damaged Pakistan's reputation on the global stage and led to increased scrutiny of its nuclear program. Scientific Expertise Abdul Qadir Khan's scientific expertise primarily lay in the fields of metallurgy and materials science. He gained a deep understanding of materials and their properties, which contributed to his ability to develop centrifuge technology for uranium enrichment. His work in this area was a significant achievement in the realm of nuclear technology. National Recognition Within Pakistan, Abdul Qadir Khan is often celebrated as a national hero due to his role in establishing the country's nuclear capabilities. Many Pakistanis view him as a symbol of Pakistan's scientific and technological prowess and as someone who safeguarded the nation's security. Impact on South Asian Security Dynamics Khan's involvement in Pakistan's nuclear weapons program had a profound impact on the security dynamics of South Asia. Pakistan's acquisition of nuclear weapons led to a nuclear arms race with India, its regional neighbor and rival. The nuclear capabilities of both countries have added complexity to regional security considerations. International Consequences Abdul Qadir Khan's proliferation activities had far-reaching consequences for international non-proliferation efforts. The exposure of his involvement in transferring nuclear technology to other countries strained global efforts to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. The revelations raised concerns about the potential misuse of nuclear technology by rogue states and non-state actors. Legacy and ongoing debate Abdul Qadir Khan's legacy remains a subject of debate and discussion, both within Pakistan and on the global stage. 
while he is celebrated by some as a national hero and a pivotal figure in Pakistan's defense. His actions in relation to nuclear proliferation continued to be a point of contention and criticism. Humanitarian efforts. In his later years, Abdul Qadir Khan ventured into humanitarian efforts, particularly in the fields of health and education. He established a hospital in Islamabad that offers free medical treatment to underprivileged patients. These efforts were aimed at improving the quality of life for marginalized communities in Pakistan. Later years, in 2004, President Pervez Musharraf granted Khan a pardon for his actions, but he was placed under house arrest and kept under tight security. Over the years, Khan remained a controversial figure in Pakistan, with some viewing him as a national hero for his contributions to Pakistan's nuclear program, and others criticizing him for his role in nuclear proliferation. Khan largely faded from public view in the later years, and his influence on Pakistan's nuclear program diminished. Thank you so much for watching my video. Do you like this type soft videos? Join comment section.